Pisces. Treat me nice, please. It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vivra, it is Scorpion Red Several. I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October 2020. Show me the monthly energy. Yes, God. Y'all know my birthday is. Now, listen. Now, y'all know my birthday is coming up on October the 25th. So if there's anyone that would like to send any support, any love, any well wishes, you guys can connect with me on Instagram, um, which my Instagram link is in the description and the about tab on my YouTube page. Or you guys can uh, email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. You guys showed a lot of love last year. So... I just know that you guys are going to love on me again this year. So I just appreciate and I want to say thank you to every last one of you in advance. Um, because a lot of times when their birthdays become around, people be feeling like they forgot about. And you just really don't realize how loved you truly are. So for every last one of you guys that sent or showed me any love last year, I want to thank you again. And I thank you again in advance for this year. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal or private reading, or if these videos resonate and you would like to send some love and support to the page, you can book by checking the description box or again by clicking the about tab on my YouTube page. It has my pricing list, the various forms of payment method. And again, I only do video readings. So you would need to connect with me on Instagram Messenger. If you do not have Instagram Messenger, I use Google Hangouts, which is an easy free app to download. And the only thing that we need to exchange for us to communicate with each other for your video chat reading is our email address. And my email to communicate with me again is scorpionreds at gmail.com. All right. So I hope you guys got that. And if you have any questions or concerns about booking um, or showing some support, just reach out to me again on Instagram Messenger or email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com as you know Pisces we always give Father God the creator his blessings we give him his roses while he here today okay so um let's bow our heads real quick and just say a quick thank you Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Pisces. Treat us nice, please, Father God. We have been just like swimming upstream. We've been determined to just have an influx of happiness and just calm, peace, prosperity, and blessings just being showered over us and everybody around us father god to have complete happiness is not just about you being happy it's about everybody around you being happy because what is true happiness if you're the only one that's successful, if you're the only one that's happy, if you're the only one living a prominent life and there's struggle and strife and conflict around everywhere you look? That ain't happiness. So, Father God, when we pray, we pray for happiness and abundance and well wishes and good health for every last person that means anything to us, Father God, because it's about the community. No more in this, in this place is selfishness. It's about the community, Father God. So. Give us guidance for the sign of Pisces. Um, continue to um, provide us wisdom and knowledge and just healing and just self-love and growth going into the future. We thank you for all of the blessings that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for the sign of Pisces in October 2020. 2020. <laughs> I don't know why I keep wanting to repeat that. Anyway, look, we want to get into so I'm trying to remember what I seen in the pre-shuffle. But my mind went blank. So I'm not even going to try to force myself to remember anything. Um, if you guys would like to, you know, always shuffle live on camera and put the cards out there. I don't want nobody to be trying to say I'm no fake or no fraud. Y'all should already know that by now. Y'all should already know. I don't do them games. So if you don't want to see the shuffling and the laying down of the cards someone um could please put the time stamp down there for the people that don't want to wait that would be greatly appreciated oh y'all nasty <laughs> hold on <laughs> <laughs> Why the song, um, I wanna go downtown, that's the way to my love, take me round and round, ooh, you can't stop till you find my love, oh, 
the who the fuck all that? All right, my bad, you guys. So I am back to like cook crack, but well, we don't do no damn cook crack, okay? Like some cooked pork and beans, maybe some cooked pork and beans. Okay, I'm sorry. Bitch, I don't eat pork and beans. Neither do I. Don't eat this shit. I don't eat this shit, y'all. Oh, what the fuck? My ass talking about, chair. I'm just coming through all wrong. All wrong. Okay, so listen. We about to finish putting these cards on out. I'm going to pray to God we ain't going to get no more distractions in the name of Jesus. All right, Pisces. Let's see what y'all got going on. Oh, okay. There you go. I'm going to put you right there. Sure will. Sure will. Sure will. Oh, so like before I was interrupted, I was hearing going go downtown. Like go downtown. That's the way to my love. Like, so it's like they're saying like you got to go deep. Like if you want to... If you really want someone to express their love, and I feel like you got to go deep. You can't just, like, play around at the surface level and think you're going to get a response. Up, uh, You got the Violet Duchess or so someone bored. Someone is something boring. Some getting dry. Something ain't about to fly. Like, no, this is the Violet Duchess. So, stifle, bored, and stuck. Mm. I feel like sexually someone isn't entertained anymore. And I'm just going to keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's a level of frustration. Especially for the, you know, you got to go downtown. That's the way to my love song to come out. So I don't know if this is like someone that just feels like you on your DJ Khaled shit. Like you feel like you too good. To um, perform oral pleasantries on your woman or on your man or something like that. But um, you might need, look, you better late low. You need to cut that out because I'm going to tell you one thing. If it was me, if I was with you, I am going to leave. I am not going to go through a whole relationship without no oral pleasantries. You know? So, um, I feel like there's someone in a relationship is bored. It's stagnant. It's just not, it's the same thing every day. Like, it's the same thing. There's no, uh, there's no fluctuation. There's no personality into whatever it is that you're doing. It is very, it's like redundant. It's like y'all have the same conversation every time. It's like every time y'all have sex, it's redundant. It's the same sexual conversation with each other every time you do this and you do that and it's like the person can almost predict every single move that you're going to make and it's like they don't want it like that anymore you're bored you know what i'm saying so it's like you need to open up the key or the pathway to something more exciting why y'all about to y'all not about to take two come I say, uh-uh, you ain't about to put no extra work on me today. It's all this damn water science. Okay, now they got, um... Rihanna singing in my head, work, 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 work. So they got to work, 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 work. I don't know what the fuck her ass be saying right here. It's like, man, you got, I'm bored. You got to put in that work to please me. It's like, I'm, I'm really getting... It's something very old-fashioned. Someone wants a more spontaneous love life. I'm... I'm sorry, but something is very old fashioned. Like they want a turn of events and that love life. It's like, I feel like whoever this is has to dress conservative all the time. And not, this might be a male feeling like this about a woman. Like you dress too conservative. Like you were boring. Like you need to change up your hairstyle. You need to put a different appeal to yourself. Like 
you just may be too. I'm just feeling dull. Like you don't even try to spice things up in the bed or bring no personality to it. It's like you could just lay there or just like be a stiff dry fuck or something like that. Like your poom poom may not get that wet because it's like you're not mentally trying to be engaged in the sex. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like sex is a mental thing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm feeling like some dry ass sex. Like someone may need to get some lubrication or something. Like you see our hair, her face is dry, pale gray. It's just like it's no... um fluids because you know like when you go to the hospital and like they're saying like oh your skin looks gray because you're lacking fluids you know what i'm saying she looks gray so it's no fluids there's no fluids flowing because i feel like mentally someone is tapped out tapped out they're bored with the sex they're bored with the relationship there's no communication they want you to go downtown they want you to go deep they want to see that passion they want to see it on your face literally Okay, like a glazed donut. They want you to put in that work. Otherwise, they're bored. And they might be the fuck missing you. So, let's see what this says. All I deserve is on the way to me. Listen, let me try to tell you something. This is sacral chakra all over. It's like, they got, I got that feeling. Boom, boom, boom. Baby, baby, I got that feeling. Listen, they got that creep activity they got that vitality they're determined like they just have a focus on their energy coming up out this state of just like staleness and lack it's like i don't want to feel like this no more the number three creation self-expression you know being social communication being artistic it's like i want to be able to express myself sexually in all ways in all days i don't want to feel like this stagnant boring stiff one-dimensional type of experience in in, in in what i'm doing on an intimate level and anything that i'm doing um all that i deserve it's on its way to me i'm not going to be fearful of expressing myself anymore listen it's the moon so you guys remember i say going downtown so you guys may be drifting may be sinking deep and like fantasy and illusion it's just like oh i wish i could be here i wish my life was like this, like you might, you know what I'm saying? Even though this is the, even though this is the moon card, I'm feeling the star energy. It's like a mixture of intuition and faith. And it's like you're drowning in it because it's just like, I want things to be better. I just want things to be wetter. Like I'm just, yo, I'm so serious. I feel like someone's having dry sex. I feel like, I feel like, the reason for the lack of moisture, I want to say you guys deserve better because the moon is like secrets, like a nagging sensation pulling at you. It's like, it's like something is calling to your spirit to tell you to, to dig deeper about something. Um, it's like, a re hold on you guys. So, like I was saying, um, it's something calling to you spiritually that is guiding you to seek more information. I feel like it's something that's missing. You got two 18s. You got two 18s. So... It's something that's been driving you crazy. I, I really do feel like you're bored. And your intuition is pulling to you. It's telling you. It's like like how these wolves are calling to the moon. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's like... Something is coming. It's like you feel it. You know it. It's like... You can't stop thinking about what whatever this it is. It's like you're drowning in this 
fixation and this sensation of this fairy tale, this illusion, this dream. It's like, I feel like you're going to think about this so much that it's actually going to come true because in your mind, your body, your heart, and your soul, whatever your current state of existence is, I feel like you don't want it no more. It's dry. It's old-fashioned. Like, you feel stuck in it. So it's like the only thing I can do is fantasize and validate my happiness by sinking deeper in these thoughts. It's like that's the only way I'm going to see myself out. Hmm. I need to flip all of these over right here. Straight down. And then you got the moon again. And again, it, look. Drifting. But this isn't good, though. This is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. What is this saying? The witch at the end of the world. An important end to a new beginning. So this is like the world card. And this is the world's in the reverse. This is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So again, this is... This isn't good. So, I'm going to put it to you like this. This is someone having to repeat a cycle. And I don't know. I don't necessarily even think that this is this. I was just about to say Sagittarius. I don't even think that this is the Pisces. Again, this could be a Sagittarius. This could be very much so a Cancer or Pisces. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy that you're dealing with. But whoever this is, is like wanting and deserving something more. I just don't feel like they know how to go about getting it. Um, they're fantasizing about some type of change and wanting something to be over. And it's like... The ends that means to a new beginning. It could be about some type of financial difficulty. Like this could be a woman that is experiencing some type of financial difficulty. Um, it could be a lack of resources. Could have lost their home. Could have lost their job. Um, or could just very much so not have enough space for all of their kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could have a home. You could have a job. And, you know, it might not be the home that you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, your family might have outgrew your home. And you need more space. But you can't afford it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you could have more kids than she can afford. Um, you know, um, not able to provide a, a life of luxury in the way that she wants to. The moon in the reverse could be, the moon in the reverse is like their worst nightmares coming true. You know, it's like you could fantasize about a new beginning, about a new beginning, about an abundance. But you're getting everything but that. It's like because. You could want it. All that I desire is on its way to me. But it seems like you're sinking into the illusion of this boredom and this lack. And it's feeling like I'm never going to get it. I'm never going to find some. I've been like this something about some sexual arousal or something like that. It has something to do with sex. Because the Queen of Pentacles is all about. Life. Producing, taking care, and nurturing, and sustaining life. I feel like intuitively, like, spirit has been trying to pull to you to get you to understand that maybe you're sinking into an illusion, a fairy tale or something. Um, you need to have more positive thoughts. It's like, it's like, it's either one of the two things. It's like, ever you, you 
your thoughts are making you drift away from reality because you have this fantasy in your head and it's not reality based and you're drifting so deep in that that you're losing yourself and you're losing sense of reality and then that's when the moon card can go into lunacy crazy you understand what I'm saying because you're not able to get a grip even when spirit is calling to you like hey you're sinking you're drifting it's like no but I want this so it's like you are not able to curb tell reality from fiction and your illusion of what you want to see and what you want to believe it's like your life could be not going in the way that you want it to go so bad that the only comfort that you find is to sink into this illusion and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the moon in reverse, all your fears are becoming nightmares. And it's like, <laughs> the moon in the reverse is like, Someone chasing their fears or letting it, they drifting away in their fears instead of finding their faith. You know, it's like an addiction to tarot. Like the moon, or no, that's more so the hot. No, the moon too, because it's like the moon represents secrets. It's like the unknown. You know what I'm saying? So, like, this could be someone. Okay, now, okay. So this could be someone that is drifting and falling into the illusion of what readers are saying. That's why I tell y'all, y'all gotta be careful which readers y'all listen to because they are literally fraud ass readers out here that are only trying to sell you fucking illusions. Cause they put these time. They know if I wanted to have. 10, 15 to 30,000 views on my readings every time I post. I could because I know how to label my videos that will attract the needy. You know what I'm saying? People that are just looking for a reader to feed into their illusion so they can keep drifting and believing it instead of telling them to. I don't tell y'all no bullshit on my page. It's just like right now, this may be hard to hear for some of y'all right now. Because y'all know, y'all might have literally been living in a fucking fairy tale world thinking that all I desire is on its way to me. And it is, but what you may be desiring could be your downfall. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because this could very much so be someone that is so far-fetched and lost in illusion that they're not paying attention to the world around them. And then we're not in it, when they're not in this fairy tale world, everything around them is, is, is breaking down because they're not paying attention to reality. They're too far-fetched and lost in illusion. And all of the bad things that they're worrying about happening to them is literally happening because their attentions is left elsewhere. You understand what I'm saying? It's like crazy, unstable thinking, un like emotionally unstable. Like you're not able to pull yourself emotionally out of this illusion that only you believe. You're not paying attention to shit else around you and you're losing everything. That's why this card, an important end, a new beginning, you have to start over. That's why this was in the reverse. Because it's like someone trapped in some type of illusion that whatever they, they have in this fucking head of theirs that is going to come true. And it's not. It's like, it's not. It's literally whatever this thing is. Is what's causing the destruction around you. It's like only an insane person would continue and continue and continue to put themselves in a situation or a train of thought or thinking that gives them no positive return but still continues believing it. You know what I'm saying? Continues to drift off and it's, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're drifting off to nowhere. You're drowning in these thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Like you're losing yourself. You're going to have to start all over again if you don't pay attention. 
this is like a warning to someone. And it's a female here. This is a feminine energy. This is a moon energy. So this is not a male energy at all. It's not a male energy. I don't know if this is a male energy that is watching someone drift away in a state of illusion. Like whatever they're thinking about is not real. It's fantasy. You know what I'm saying? Like this person could even be getting lost and trying to find out the truth of some hidden information. But it's not real. You understand what I'm saying? Like this is literally some shit that you put in your head. Like people may be trying to tell you like, listen, that's not the truth. But you're seeking deeper and deeper and deeper into what you think. You know what I'm saying? When it's really not the truth, but you manifest it to come to it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like someone, that's just like saying someone feeling like, oh, this person is cheating on me, cheating on me, cheating on me. And you're drifting, 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 drifting. And like spirit is trying to tell you, hey, come back, come back. You're going a little bit too deep now. You're going a little bit too deep. And... You done sunk so bad into that where it allowed you to end up like this where a person does end up cheating. You know what I'm saying? Because you've manifested your nightmares to come into reality because that's all you were thinking about. That's all you were manifesting. That's all you were dwelling over. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you've manifested your misery. So I don't know if this is someone that is watching this fear. If this is a set... Why I keep saying fucking Sagittarius? I don't know if this is a... Um, and I've done other readings since Sagittarius. I don't know why I keep saying Sagittarius. I don't know if this is um, Pisces that is watching a woman drift away like this. But whatever this is, this is sad. Because this woman is going to have to restart her whole life again. And it's like this person is doing it to their self. The Seven of Wands. And then you got the Four Swords. Yeah. So listen... Um, this person sat there and watched whoever this, this person is. It's like, they defeated their self. This is a type of person where, again, could have manifested, um, the demise of a relationship, the down, they could have manifested whatever this is. Because you see on that boat, it's the sun, you know? So it was like, because again, like I'm trying to say you like, spirit was trying to illumine, was trying to show you something. You know what I'm saying? But you felt more safe than the falsehood of your reality, what you thought it was. Um... The Seven of Wands going into the Eight of Wands. There was conflict. There was a battle here. Um, well, you guys could have put up enough with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you guys were fighting against the world together, but still fighting against each other. Does that make any sense? It's like... The world is trying to put a determination and a judgment on your relationship. And you're fighting against the world saying, no, we're okay. We're still, we're still together. You know what I'm saying? We're still doing, you know what I'm saying? We're still doing this together. But at the same time, behind closed doors, it's all this chaos and conflict. It's like you're putting up the united front to the world, but behind closed doors, it's terrible. You know what I'm saying? It's terrible. Both of y'all are boy with each other. It's like you're fighting the lost cause. Like the four of swords is like when people need to take a time out of rest. Go in their opposite quarters. Sit down and think about their inner truth. What it is that they really want. And really come to some type of sense of things. Because otherwise you guys are just going to sit here and go tip for tat. Trying to one up each other. Trying to manipulate, trying to, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, you gonna cheat? Well, I'm gonna cheat too. Oh, well, you gonna have a baby on me? I'm gonna have a baby on you. Like, it's like, this is what y'all are doing. You know what I'm saying? And instead of like, 
using your intuition and make sense of the things you just continuously trying to chase after what you believe and that all I desire is on my way to me what you desire could not necessarily be something that's positive for your life you know what I'm saying you could be desiring for okay even though this shit is toxic as fuck, I don't have my foundations together. I can't do what I need to do for myself in my life. Like, I'm still under this deep-seated illusion that we're going to burn down all of those old bridges and that we're going to run together, run away together in the sunset and be happy. No, y'all are not going to do nothing but hurt each other. You two don't need to be with each other. It's no matureness here. It's like... You hurt me, I'ma hurt you. You do this to me, I'ma do this to you. You lie to me about this, I'ma lie to you about that, and I'ma feed you the same illusion. It's trifling. Trifling. What is this? The devil in the reverse. I'm trying to tell you. You guys know very much so that this is a very toxic relationship. It might have to start out, and then, you know. This shit ain't, this shit was, the precedence behind it was start off of, of a fucking illusion. Tell me I'm lying. When you first started getting together, the devil represents someone being attached to someone else. There was a falsehood and illusion when you met this person, this person could have very much so had a spiritual connection, a marital bond, a friendship situation, shit, something. Something. This person was still attached to something somewhere else. And you could have fell into the delusion of all that I desire is on its way to me. With that devil in the reverse energy, like that's not good. That's 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 not good. Motherfuckers could have been fixing candles, doing all type of shit. Like, yo, could it be in some type of spiritual? I don't listen. The devil in reverse could be one of two things. It could be someone trying to get away from negative, toxic shit. Or it could be like literally someone doing spell work and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, that all I desire is on its way to me. This person feeling bored. Like, I just, I don't, I don't like this. I really don't like this. You know what I'm saying? So, this is like someone that could have been using spirituality or something like that as a means to control the outcome of a situation because the the witch at the end of the world because <sighs> remember the queen of pentacles like this is someone willing to sell her body so, like this one <sighs> I really don't want to say this, but it's like, <clears throat> this is someone that would be willing to sell their body, sell their soul, just to get what they want. Like, the five of swords, this is the four of swords, though, because it's one of y'all to separate. This, is the five, this four of swords going to the five of swords, because this is the in-between tarot. This is someone willing to stoop very low to get what they want by any means necessary. You see the two people, what are they doing? They're burning... The village down and they're running away, trying to get away from it as if they had nothing to do with it. And these people were a part of the circus. You see what I'm saying? Like, they lived there at one point. I just, I, I, don't, I don't like this. What is this, the three? And then, uh, third party situation. Like, listen. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, y'all. I swear to God, like, this queen of pentacles, whoever this female energy here is, like, this bitch crazy. Because she ain't learning nothing. And I really do feel like this person is willing to 
burn some candles, write someone's name on some paper and burn it or send some fruit down a river. Like, this bitch fucking crazy. Like, this person doesn't have a sense of value. This person may not be really taking care of her foundations like she should be because the only thing she's focusing on is what she desires and getting all that she desires. She's fighting for something that isn't worth fighting for. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause was it was there anyone in those houses before y'all burnt? I, I just like I just like I feel like this person is willing to burn bridges and like whoever this is with this devil in the reverse. Cause I'm not. Cause this woman ain't learning shit. Like she gonna have to do this shit all over again. She not getting it. It said I said it very loud and clear. I went and shouted it in his ear. I said it very loud and clear. I shouted it in his ear. Listen, and this even came in the reverse. So this is like the three of hearts in the reverse. The three of hearts represents, um, they're saying pregnancy and things like that. You know? So it represents, it represents like love which creates life an important end to a new beginning you know again someone willing to do almost anything to get what they want as the end result i don't know if this this woman is willing to have another baby by someone that they know is toxic like doing anything just to hold on to something by any means necessary like going tit for tat you know what i'm saying like there's already conflict here there's already conflict here but because this person wants to run away with this man you know what i'm saying and wants the lines of communication to open back up do you understand like she wants to burn down whatever it is that that person that that man had back there with whoever else that they had it with just to open up the lines of communications you know what i'm saying like this person is willing to go to war for this person when they need to chill and back up. You understand what I'm saying? The devil in the reverse. Someone allowing the worst to become reality. Like, I don't like this. This could be someone that knows. Like, this man could have been shouting. Humpty Dumpty could have been shouting to her. Look, I have a, I have a baby coming on the way. Um, I'm in love with someone else. But, like, this woman could be willing to... She don't get it. Got the King of Clubs. You got the Page of Wands in the reverse. So it says, don't be nervous or I'll have you executed on the spot. Bitch. Ooh, you guys could be dealing with an earth sign individual or this is just like the, the King of Clubs. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, this is my party. I run things. I will have you execute executed on the spot. It's like this person with this page of wands in the reverse. It's like this woman could be because the wands in the reverse like this woman could be promiscuous. You could feel like it's an on again, off again. Um hot and cold energy with this person like one minute this person is up one minute this person is down you don't know i'm like y'all feel like this woman is crazy as shit it's like i'm getting bipolar don't be nervous or i have you executed on the spot i don't i don't know because even wands is magic and shit Pages to me represents immaturity. It's like you're not mature. Like you operate like a kid or something. Or your emotions are like a kid. It's like. Because the page of wands is like someone. That they're excited about something. But as soon as they don't get what they want. They'll catch an attitude and leave. You know what I'm saying? And 
because of these other cards around here they're not just going to catch an attitude and leave like they might try to get revenge or you know what i'm like they might try to get revenge <laughs> you know what i'm saying like they're not just going to leave and go try to self-love and try to figure something out and why did this happen like no they want to go tip it they want to go to war you know what i'm saying so it's like God, I don't like this energy. Pisces, I don't even feel like this is y'all. I feel like this is some sick-ass woman around y'all. That's why y'all, like, don't be nervous. Or have you executed at the spot? Like, for my Pisces men. And y'all know that this energy could be reversed, too. So this could be a female dealing with a male in this energy. But I'm trying to tell y'all, like, this is a woman falling deep to some fucking illusion or some shit. And it, I mean, it could very much so be that you got some man wanting to run off with you and they're believing what they want to believe and to like regardless of your state of black and the fact that you really don't have anything to give to this person it's like there's still no holds barred going after you Whatever it was that you liked about this situation, whoever is on the observing end of this situation, I feel like the way and the means to which this person is going about trying to obtain some type of power or clarity, because this, I mean, this could even be like someone trying to get clarity about your situations and with the moon that is like the occult you know what i'm saying so like this person could be over indulging in the occult like i'm trying to tell you the devil in the reverse like this person could be overdoing it like extra fixated in trying to find answers that you're looking for you might be spending all of your money paying for readings from people or doing some shit that is not good. And it's like you need to stop before you get like whoever this is like they're like real deep into some shit. You got to go downtown. That's the way to my love. Like what low? Like what the fuck? I feel like this king is like. Bitch, if you go any lower than this, I'm going to have you executed on the spot because it's like I'm trying to explain to you loud and clear. Um, like this man could be with someone else or something like that. Because at the four, this is third party. Someone is fucking delusional. I even want to say this person may even stoop so low to try to hurt someone just to be able to run off with y'all for y'all to be together or some shit. Like, this is sick. Like, I'm sorry. God, let me wrap this up. The clockwork pumpkin. I have a wonderful idea, aha moment. Y'all don't like this. I don't like That's why the, the high priestess said. Y'all, this bitch is doing witchcraft. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. The high priestess, the moon in the upright, the moon in the reverse, the seven of wands, the four of swords going into the five of swords looking like this, and then the devil in the reverse, and then someone screaming to the, look, he's screaming, I'm in love with someone else, move on. Hello. Look, it says, I said it very loud and clear. I went and shouted it in his ear. Hello. They still are not listening. This per th this person does not have a sense of value and understanding. Period. Period. And this motherfucker is, is insane. Like, this... I'm so sorry about it, y'all. Like, I'm so serious. And, and, and I really don't even like reading shit. Like, this bitch doing witchcraft, young. Most definitely. Most fucking definitely. This bitch is delusional and sick as shit. Over there doing spell rituals and shit. Whatever you saying, this bitch ain't listening to you. Like, this woman will legitimately go as far to have another fucking baby with you. Just to try to, like... It control like this. Haha! -ha, I had a brand new idea. Like, uh, 
this is side bitch energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's either spell work or someone willing to have a bell. I feel like this person wants to have another baby by some, but it's like you're barren. It's like you're not going to be able to have one. It's like God wouldn't bless you with this, but you ain't working from the side of God. Whoever this person be in some real, that's why I keep trying to tell y'all, man, y'all be playing with this fucking witchcraft and this spell work and shit. Like it's, it's cute. Like that shit ain't cute, young. Do you understand what I'm saying? If someone do not want to be with you and they're screaming it to you, I do not, this is not working out. Slim. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, let me just get the fuck out of here. The magician. Come on, you better take your power. Take your power, Pisces. Take your fucking power. Because Pisces, like this bitch... She playing with the, I play with God, okay? So listen, I don't know what the fuck this bitch, my cup is a little bit bigger than her and I'm a little bit more powerful than her and my God is a little bit more powerful than yours, bitch, okay? So, this Pisces, I feel like, especially if you know that you're dealing with someone, that's why he said, I will have you executed on the spot. Don't be coming over here, listen, don't be nervous. Or have you executed on the spot? It's like. And you see this. Isn't this typically the sign of the triple moon goddess or something like that? So it's like. This man might have consulted spirit himself. Because it's like he feels like. I feel like he knows this person well enough to know that this person knows or has some type of knowledge of spiritual warfare or something or like he knows that this person does this or has the potential to do this. This man could be 39 years old. This person, she has a lot of knowledge of the occult and spiritual things, could possibly have spiritual gifts, but she does not use it in a high vibrational way. Not at all. Not at all. And her idea is to control you by spell work. This person is obsessed and whatever delusion that they have in their mind around what the situation would be. I feel like they want to get rid of whoever the third party is that you're telling them, that you're dealing with. This person lacks foundation. The seven of fucking swords. I tell You about to walk into battle. It's like. It's like you're about to walk into enemy territory where you know you could possibly get trapped. Do you understand? This is the magician card. It's like you're praying to God. You're praying to the universe. High vibrational. High vibration. Not low. This seven of swords, you know you were dealing with a very manipulative, devious, envious, treacherous person. You understand? And even though your sword, you might you might have broke your sword. You see what I'm saying? So you're going into this battle. It looks like you're half armed. That's what you want it to look like. You sat your ass down there. I want to say you felt it. Well, I want to say I felt it. I felt it before I felt it. I felt it before I felt it. I felt it before I felt it. I don't know why I want to say that. 
But it's like, I think you could see, because I want to say that this person had up and down energy. Like one minute this person wants to act mature and y'all can have positive conversation and communication. And one minute it would just go completely left. And you're just like, what the fuck? Like, I'm serious. Like, I feel like this person started to unravel and get crazier and crazier and darker and darker and darker and darker and darker, and darker as the days went by. I want to say like this, this man is just like, as this person was communicating because the king of clubs, right? The more and more you communicated with this person, I feel like the more psycho and the more unstable you seen that this person was becoming. This is like obsessed. All I desire is on its way to me. Yeah, because you over there doing spell work and shit. And you think it's coming. That shit ain't coming. And I'm serious. Like, look at this energy of this card. Like, this isn't a happy individual. This person may not wake up happy. Look at her clothes. Like, this is a dark individual. I feel like this man may have prepared himself spiritually before he went into this war. Because the Eight of Swords is the devil card. The Eight of Swords is the devil card still. Because it represents entrapment, enslavement. Being in a situation where you mentally... So it's like... I'm really getting it's like this person is going into battle with half a sword. But spiritually spiritually protected like a motherfucker it's like is this man wants her to think that he's coming in there ill prepared with half a sword like he is not prepared to fight the whole time she don't know that he's a real magician see he's not partaking in favors from the devil for temporary advancements do you understand no he's a real magician by the sight and eyes of god by the sight and eyes and spirit of god He's very much so aware I'm walking into battle and this person's intentions is to have me trapped and bound to their energy because it's like this person is so obsessed and fixated with you so bad like they're willing to stoop low and do anything just to win. You won the battle. Oh, but bitch, he's going to win the war. Once you make a pact with the devil... You can't undo that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? This little witchy bitch ain't learned nothing. Still doing the same shit, being triggered into that low vibrational dark stuff. If you have spiritual gifts, if you don't, you're supposed to use that for the light, not for the darkness. Oh, but you don't created a soul tie with him, honey. That's why he knows. I already know. It's, it wasn't set. It, it, what, the only person it was set to benefit was her. I don't even think she give a fuck about who she hurt trying to obtain this man or whatever this is because of the, 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 the moon. Like, this person doesn't see how crazy they become. Like, this person has completely lost it. You know walking into this, it looks like you're ill prepared. And the intention is for this person to trap you, but not under the eyes and the sight of God. I promise you it won't happen on his watch. You got an anointment on you, and you will walk out of this unscathed. And if you ain't never seen the Lord's protection before, oh, you about to see it. Oh, you about to see it. Now, let me see what the hell this last card is. Because I ain't even... The two of wands in the reverse. Remember, I told you this bitch is over here practicing magic. I told you. She over here trying to make two globes levitate and shit. And what are you over here um, um, juggling wands? Doing regular shit that people can do. You know what I'm saying? Everyone can juggle if you practice. But what is the three of wands represent the three of wands represents someone walking away and leaving 
something that is unserving behind and moving towards a better future. Someone waiting. Someone being patient. What is she over there doing? Balancing, levitating, practicing her magic and all of this shit like that. So this came out in the reverse. The two of wands in the reverse represents uh, a delay. You clearly see this three of wands. You trying to leave. I don't feel like you want to juggle this person as an option as they're juggling you. Or, again, Three of Wands, you had another person as well. That's why she's fighting like that. That's why she's willing to pull her magic out to win this war. Well, excuse me, win the battle. He wins the war. Oh, honey, he got her. You, he got you, boo. You wanted to play with the darkness? In order to see the light, you will never see no light as long as you hang around this motherfucker right here. Never. The devil card leads to the tower. Oh, baby. The devil never sets it up for you to win. You stupid bitch. Listen, why are you over there playing with that shit? Because you too busy worried about who else he's talking to. If he want to talk to someone else and leave, let him. Y'all women hear me. You can't control no man. You can't manipulate no heart. You done got yourself tied in with this motherfucker. Trying to make hope float. Trying your luck. Baby, anything that comes to you don't need to come from the devil's luck. Don't need to come to you from the devil's luck. I don't get anything in this world by luck. I get it by faith and prayer. Because it was meant for me. See, people that, that, that be doing this shit, that be sinking into this shit and just like can't pull this up. Like... I don't like this. This is obsession. This is obsession, denial, and this is crazy. But everything is, oh, everything is going to unfold. The two bonds represents a delay. happen something's gonna happen because I want to say it's like you were prayed you know what I'm saying God had strengthened you to prepare yourself to walk into this battle where you were going to come out unscathed even though this person was trying to trap you because they knew I don't know if this girl broke your sword she did something so you wouldn't be able to fight fair but then there was a delay. There was a delay. I just heard don't go over there. Oh, they just said she gonna get burnt by her own fire. I got to go because I don't even want to know why. I don't even want to know. No, I don't want to know nothing no more about this. I'm done. I'm done. Y'all heard that. Don't go over there. She is going to get burnt by her own fire. Rem Ooh! Remember. I'm done. I'm done. Because remember, it's like this person wanted you to go. Yo, is this fucking arson? Yo, is this fucking arson, young? Is this fire? I can't. All right, Pisces, I gotta go. I love y'all. Y'all read it. I gotta go. Bye.